Okay, so right now I've gotten myself into a little bit of a fine mess. So I had a bit of a think about it last yesterday, really, and I figured like fragment descriptor isn't the top end, so I shouldn't really have a loading mechanism for this specifically. Rather, this should already be defined when it's created. Uh, what what we need really is something above this, something I'm going to call a material descriptor. Material descriptor instead will be the description of, which will include a fragment descriptor, but will also include uh, other items to describe the material. So it will be typically be images, maybe colors, or, so on, or something like that. A fragment descriptor is a combination of well the blending and the and the shader and the rasterization details but like the actual like images that you'll use in on that fragment descriptor is defined by the material and a fragment descriptor of course can be reused across different materials that may interchange the image that they use but still use the same like shader and rasterization and what have you and then uh yeah, hopefully, and then I'll probably do the same thing on Vertex, where it'll be like a mesh descriptor, <coughs> probably. Different mesh descriptor, where the mesh descriptor will have uh, like Vertex information, but it will still reuse the same Vertex descriptor, which will have the same shader and layout of Vertex information, but be reused across different meshes. So, uh, let's get this uh, a little bit going. <clears throat> so, I'll need a class. Be a material um, which will of course have I think by default material descriptor contain nothing. empty and then we'll have like a manager or pool on top which will actually manage these guys I think And then we'll have like a, a specialization on top of it. It'll be like albedo descriptor. Which will have a single image. For the time being, since I'm not entirely sure how I created otherwise. Um, well, I don't actually have anything for images quite yet, so I'll just have to leave it as that. Actually, no, I don't even want that then. I probably won't. 
because then I also need a, a material descriptor type which doesn't actually have any uh, specializations like no extra images of that. It'll just be like a just the, whatever is in the fragment descriptor itself. Hmm. Okay. Um, we'd also need something along. Okay. Need these as well. No. Um, oh yeah. What do I need as a basic? <laughs> I need that. Definition, training memory. Let's see if we can copy it from a shader. What did I not put this into? I didn't. state you want to update the sh shader for that Okay, um, we had these guys, which makes sense. Which also means we need these.
right all right I was working mostly on material descriptor, wasn't I? These guys got them. I need these then. it has become a manager anyways hmm. do this that 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 p manager material manager okay have that types hiding around Really? Yeah, okay, that makes a bit of sense. Um, Material like that, and we have void. I think that'll work.
Okay, and then as long as we'll say whatever, we'll just it's that it's. It's not even a material descriptor, it's just be like a material. Hmm. Actually, that's a good point. Perhaps. Okay, no, I'll. I'll figure that out later. Ooh, yeah. And that doesn't work if show if shit pools inherited. Oh, yeah. This is going off the rails fast. Hmm. Uh, material descriptor, fragment descriptor. Uh, in this case, we'll have okay. I've got to split this up a bit more uh, into What is it exactly as a fragment descriptor? A material descriptor should, okay. Rather, these should be in this. All these guys should be in this. And then rather, we'll just kind of limit down the material descriptor to just be this stuff. This. And we'll have like a two. Those. 
Jesus. Yes, that sounds a bit more new workable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we've got a material pool. Now we want to actually create the material, which means, okay, we're going to need some things for this.
if we create materials here, hmm. these things would have to be able to transform themselves, wouldn't they? Ooh, that's hmm. okay. Whatever. We do need some basic things in the time again. We need a device. Okay. Um, probably some uh, mutex. Okay, we need a descriptor pool for materials. When we create them, we need descriptors for them. Descriptor sets, which we get from this. And that needs to be synchronized in case it's being done for multiple uh, threads. At the moment. Synchronization for the list of materials in the first place. Uh, we're going to need um, a shader pool. We're going to need some mechanism to create, generate on the fly fragment descriptors, aren't we? If they're already declared, then we create them. Hmm. Yeah, quite possible. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Just initialize and deinitialize the pool to start with. We need that. We need
So we need to create a descriptor pool. Uh, we need to set. train decides to come by now. Sure, I'll just ridiculous numbers and sizes is a damn things. Flag bits, update after bind, free descriptor set. We want to be able to free them, these individually. I'll just say a thousand of them again. Keep them nice and simple like that. Just return it.
right, they initialize, you deinitialize. Okay, well, I, I still need these, don't I? Really? Because it doesn't look like it's got one there. Yeah, there's nothing new here, so it's loads. It's always loaded. Like that. Really, you don't know what load stick is. Um... Are you sure? It totally looks like it exists. Oh. I'm not even going to bother with that one quite yet. Okay, what I'm going to do is create one. 
And do we want to give it a name? Probably something like that. I don't know if I want to. Yes, I will for now. Or find one. Still, just do it here. Um, create and find. Or hmm, perhaps. How do I create a new one? Let's say I want to actually create a full material. How do I load one? How would I want to load one? Hmm. This is a great question I didn't even think about, really. Hmm. Perhaps I should think about it in a slightly different way. How do I make a fragment descriptor? There'll be basically no way to do it, but I actually already have everything I want to go when I first created it, won't I? Hmm. Which means I need a VK rasterization create info. I need, uh, yeah, the number of these things.
create. Do I even need this? No, I don't need a, no, I don't need a manager for this. I just need these guys. You know what? I'm going to see if I can actually rework the shaders more like handle based instead of like direct pointers that may be a bit more, both more and less flexible at the same time. But I'll do that later. Later, later, later. I'll try to do madness right now. Or do I want to do like a unique pointer set? You basically come out to the same to 16 bytes each. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look. Maybe there is. For the constructor, count, allocator, input, last. Hmm, I can. Okay. So I can say this and uh, this plus the count. Hold on. BK, this is what I have. This, right? And this, and this, and this, and this. So I don't need this because that'll be given by the attachment count already with these other things. Color blend state, state info. Yes, 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 yes. So it'd be this. Uh, P attachments. Plus um, attachment count. Then this becomes
that. However, we then go in and we modify And now that's that's going to be the same can. What I just need is changes the P attachment point. To be this data. In which case it's probably better it would probably be good to Make it a pointer instead. Hmm. New um, that times that count. Yep. That is ultimately all that's kind of required in here. Okay. Uh, it's not data anymore, it's get. This is no longer that. We don't need these. Okay, need this. Hmm, almost. What I want to do is be able to create this on demand from a pool of some sort. I thought I was going to do material descriptors. I'm actually doing everything around it as usual.
Okay, what do I need? I need to start with initial. Is there anything I need to actually initialize? Not really. There's nothing actually Vulcan in here, but I do need. Uh, which is basically a copy of these guys. Or even, hmm. Don't think so. We're just going to make sure we got a match. Actually, that is something, isn't it? 
what if it doesn't have a rasterization state? What if it's <clears throat> like a, or contrary wise, what if it doesn't have a depth stencil? Oh, oh, that's just complicating the crap out of this. What about these? Does it even have? Well, it'll, this can be determined by whether or not. Um... It even has any of these. Okay, so. If. Hmm. the opposite. They both exist and match, or they don't both, both of them don't exist. Or, okay. Okay, if P rasterization pointer and yes 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 Okay, this or this or this, then we need to continue. We didn't find it. I need to include. Quality checks. I need to do the same thing on the depth stencil. Okay, and then we need to also set um, 
Okay, and then I need to uh, do things are going to call a blend attachments. Now, do I actually have? Let's open that up. I don't actually do a proper check on this. Which is unfortunate. These are almost all optional. Um, I could do standard optional. It's quite possible, actually. And then these guys can be returned possibly null pointer then in those cases. Hmm. Could do these two first. need to go through all the others as well. I need to be able to figure out a way to kind of do that. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to cut it here then because I need to figure out a I need to figure out how to do a proper uh, quality check for this. And I'll have that come later. <laughs> 